Hello Sausage, this is Nana Daryl and today we're playing The Sims 2, yes, and we're going to play The Sims 2 in a new area of Simville called the Hickersville Court Love. Yes, it's in the deep south of Simville and we're going to be playing the Hillbilly family love, yes. The Hillbilly family that's made up from Gumpfer, who is their son, and the father Ned and the mum Bertha. So Gumpfer, Ned and Bertha Hillbilly, yes love. So I'm moving into their first ever house in the deep south of uh, Sindel Love, yes they are. And he's giving her a free tonsillet to me, aren't you love? Yes, that's right. And now they're going to do something very hillbilly and they're going to play rock, paper, scissors love, that's right. Yes they are, because that's a very hillbilly thing they like to do. Well you look a bit like Isaac Butterfield love from Australia, the Australian comedian. Isn't she attractive though, look at you. You don't have a face like a bashed crab at all, love, no. There's definitely a face that only a mother could love, isn't it, darling? But it's not the looks that count, love. It's not what's on the outside. It's what's on the inside that counts, love. It's just a shame that on the inside of you looks like you're full of sour lemons, love, by the expression on your face. But never mind. Yes, that's right, love. Now let's have a look at the house that Nana Beryl built, made from dry wool, love, with no paint on the outside. So it gets all soggy in the rain, love. Yes, it does. Now, let's have a look on the inside too, love. There's more drywall. Not a very good builder, have I, love? I'd never be able to be a construction worker, would I, darling? They need to go inside and have a look. All right, calm down, love. Yes, no hurry, darling. And what about the boys? You're going to come inside? Oh, my God, you're in such a rush, love. Must be all the sugar from the mountain dew that you drink, love. Yes, that's right. Oh, and she's keen to see the post person. Yes, hello, post person. Oh, and they're going to have a bit of a snog, are they? He's very romantic, aren't they, love? Yes. And he's going to the toilet, isn't he? He's going to the lavatory. It's good to see you flush the loo, love, and put the toilet seat back down, yes. And he's talking about the interview with Tucker Carlson and Putin, and he's having a bit of a giggle. I haven't seen that yet, but I might have to have a look. Now, notice you have no table in there, love. We need to go shopping at Walmart to get you a table, yes. So we're going to put this table in here. Yes, we are. We're going to get a Watson N table from Walmart for only $129.99, love. Yes, we are. We've got a couple of chairs for it too, love, and another chair over here. Now, maybe we should just get another table instead of that separate chair, love. Let's put that back. And now we'll get a camping table, sometimes known as a card table, I think. Shall we do that? Or shall we get another one of these? I think we'll go with the card table. The Segway camping table from Walmart for only $56.98 from Walmart, yes. And I think we'll put this one over here because the other table's a bit stronger and it might take the weight of your banjo, love. That's right, love, your banjo and your false teeth. Now let's see, have we got some exercise equipment we can give you love to keep you all fit? Yes, that's right, we need some fitness for our hillbillies, don't we love? Yes we do. Not a car love, that's not going to make you fit, no. Unless you run behind it and try and catch it, but I don't think you want to do that, do you love? No, you don't. So let's have a look, I'm looking at all the wrong areas, aren't I love? I think I'm going a bit doobally. I can't find it love, where's, where's the gym equipment? in here somewhere isn't it, no not the music, no, oh over here that's right, what should we do here, maybe a dancing pole, yes maybe we should make a statement and they can all learn how to play, how to do the ballet love, yes, Hillbilly's doing the ballet, it yes, sounds like something to put on America's Got Talent doesn't it love, yes, maybe we'll just do an exercise and stand up, yes, something a little bit more basic, let's turn around and fit it here in the wall, Oh, that's right, they have a gym they're going to, don't they? Yes, so I'll take that away then and give you something else, I think. And a barrel's very indecisive. So I think what we're going to do is go to woollygoat.com, woollygoat, and get a merry-go-round made in America. Yes, I'm going to put that around the back here. Unless, of course, there's no room, which there is, there's no room. So let's put it around the front here so everyone can see you. That's right, on your woollygoat.com merry-go-round made in America. So it should last for ages. And let's put you back in live mode. Now where is the sun gone, love? Where is he? Where's he gone? Oh, there he is, love. Gump is already keen to look at it. Aren't you, love? You're keen to give it a try. Yes, he's very excited. He thinks, oh my God, look at it. It's just like Disneyland. 
I go, yes, it is just like Disneyland because they're hillbillies around here. Everything's like Disneyland. And look at the look at the cat that thinks it's a dog that just walked in. Look at it, love. Yes, you're too small to be a dog, love. He's a pretend dog, yes. And Elon Musk has just left another computer. He's just got rid of another one from Epstein Island. He's left out the front for them. Yes. And he's patting the cat that thinks it's a dog, love. He says, oh, it's very, very nice you think that you're a dog, but you're not. And he says, well, look, I can chase my tail like a dog. He goes, yes, but you're not a dog. You're too small. You fit into my wife's handbag. And she's obviously been listening to Kylie Minogue spinning around because she's spinning him around a lot, isn't she, love? Yes, she is. And he thinks, oh, my God, it's just like not Three Farm and Disneyland combined together. Yes, it is. So he's very excited about the fact that it's just as good as Disneyland. Yes, it is. He doesn't have to wait for 35 minutes to get on a ride, which is a big bonus, isn't it, love? Yes. Not having to wait 30 minutes to get on a ride, love, yes. Now, I don't think you need to pick up this, darling. You need to open your box. Now, he's finished baking, yes, he's finished making his Her Hershey chocolate bar on the toilet, love, yes, with special nuts and, and flavours. And what is he going upstairs for? Yeah, yes, you need to come inside, darling. Oh, he's still playing there. Oh, what are you doing, man in pink shirt? Hello, man in pink shirt, with scarf on your neck, what are you doing? He says, I'm going away from here because it's not very gay. Okay, darling, well, you go where you like, love. We do have San Francisco, we might take you there later, love. We might visit there later. But right now, yes, now he likes, he likes this. He loves this little merry-go-round, he does, yes. From Willy Goat, merry-go-round. Yes, it is, it's willygoat.com. We've got a merry-go-round, mate. Oh, what's the dog doing? The dog's finished eating the furniture and he's got a piece of it in his mouth by the looks. Yes, he's been eating the sofa, haven't you, love? Oh my god, they're trying to get their jollies, aren't they? Yes. They need to open your box, love. Yes, so he's opened his box. Like a good little hillbilly, haven't you, love? You need to get the newspaper in too. Oh my god, they're trying to get their jollies, aren't they? Yes, they are. Trying to have their naughties. And he's just gone into the fridge. He has to get his half gallon uh, Walmart milk. Great value Walmart milk for only $1.93, love. And here comes the welcome wagon, which is the city council of Hickersville. Yes, Hickersville Court. And they will come to visit. Yes, they have. Oh, he does look like Isaac Butterfield, the Australian comedian, doesn't he, love? Yes, he does a bit. And there's the cat that pretends it's a dog. And she's just reading the newspaper. Yes, she is. Even the South Station says, you're not really a dog, you even smell like a cat. Now he's trying to prove how much of a dog he is by barking, even though he's not really a dog, he's just a pretend dog that could fit into anyone's handbag, couldn't he? Love? Yes, he could. He could fit into a clutch purse. Yes, that's right. Now, Bertha's has come along to invite everyone inside. She says, hello. Hello, nosy old bag and blue dress. How are you? And hello, man in blue tank top with sexy eyes. How are you? She's quite keen on him. Yes, she wants to get her jollies off with him too. So as her husband, yes. And he's been making sandwiches, yes. He's been making sandwiches with his Walmart sandwich bread, yes. Oh, she needs to pass some wind love. Yes, she does. You need to go into the bathroom. So now he's enjoying his sandwiches made with great value sandwich bread from Walmart for $1.42. Baked with love. Yes, that's what it says on the packet, love. It says baked with love. Yes, it's got $1.42 worth of baked with love in there, love. That's what it has. Yes, it has. Because it says so on the packet. Yes. Now, nosy old bag is going inside because she's a nosy old bag. And he says, get out of my way, nosy old bag. And he says, get out of my way, sexy man. And he says, where are you from? He says, well, I'm from Canada. He says, oh, you mean the place that's got Justin Trudeau, the person who doesn't seem to like people, and he likes to control everything. Yes. Isn't he like a world dictator? He says, well, I think he thinks he is a world dictator. Now, she's having some Toblerone. Yes, she's making some Toblerone out of her behind. Yes, she is. And he, he's having some sandwich meat. Oh, and he's just had a big face fart. Haven't you, love? He just had a fart from your face, love. Yes, you did. And he doesn't like the blonde man anymore because he thinks, well, he's a bit of a Canadian gossip, isn't he? Yes, he's a bit gossipy. So he doesn't know if he likes him at the moment. Yes. Now, their son is going to bed, yes. 
Now, obviously, his, his bedroom's quite big, actually. It's not like the broom closet that he used to live in, is it? No, it's not. It's actually quite big, except for he's got a single bed, but he is young, so therefore, that's right. So you go to bed, love. And he's just finished with the toilet, yes, he's just finishing getting rid of his mountain dew. And now he's going to be asked to go home, yes, he's going to say, you need to go home now because we've had enough of you because you're a pain in the ass and we don't like you anymore. He's going to read the newspaper and trying to find a job and he's told the woman over there, he said, you're a nosy old bag, go away, but make sure you leave my dishes on the bench with my sandwiches. Yes, so we might take this job, I think, yes, we might, just for now, to give him something to do, yes, I think we will. Yes, now you need to go home and she says, all right, goodbye, tight ass, because I won't be seeing you again, I'll call you. How do you call me an ATL bag? You think, well, they were, they were a bit gossipy, weren't they? You say, a bit gossipy. You should turn off the television, love. You said, you need to go to bed and get some beauty sleep to maintain your sexy dad bod. Yes, you do. So he's going to get changed and show off his sexy dad bod before he goes to bed, don't you, love? Yeah, there we go, look at that, darling. Nothing like a bit of a hillbilly tummy, is there? No, that's right, love. You get your beauty sleep. Oh, what are you doing, Megan? What are you doing here? She says, I'm looking for Harry. I said, well, love, haven't you heard the news? He's back in London. Are you deaf, love? He's back in London. Darling, he's back in London. Because, well, why didn't you tell me that sooner, Nana Beryl? It's now night time. I need to go all the way back to my hometown now. I'm not going to make it on time. Because she doesn't listen, that's why I love, yes. Now he's having a sleep, yes he is. He's having a sleep, and he's, oh what are you doing love? Are you eating Doritos, I think you are, you're eating Doritos. And he's drinking more Kmart milk, value milk, yes he is. Love, you're going to run out of food. You're eating the whole household, love, yes you are. Oh my god, now he's going to go and make some Eggs Benny, you see, yeah, some Eggs Benny with his Kmart Great Value Milk, that's right, love, yes. Great Value Walmart Milk, half gallon for only $1.93, love, yes, that's right. Now he's on the phone, now his mum's magically appeared there, what are you doing, love, how did you jump there that quickly? You need a bell around your neck so we know where you are, love. Oh, now they're having a bit of a family kiss, aren't they, and now they're gazing into each other's eyes for too long. Well, I suppose, like the South say, Keeping it in the family, love. Yes, it's a bit of a South motto, isn't it, love? Keep it in the family. Yes. Now you're having a bit of a phone call, are you? Yes, he's going to ring a taxi to come and pick them up. What are you doing, love? Where are you going to go? I think we're going to take them out somewhere. Now, Mum's going to stay at home in bed and get her beauty sleep because God knows she needs it with a face like that, love. Yes. And he's going to go and put the dishes away, eh, love, and wash them? Oh no, he's going to put them down on the floor because he's a little shit, that's why I love, yes, he's a cantankerous little brat, he gets his own way, yes, he wraps his mum and dad around his little finger, yes he does, because he thinks he's special, that's right love, now you need to hop in the taxi, yes you do, you need to hop in the taxi, it's going to be expensive because you should have rung an Uber love, you should have rung an Uber, but never mind, at least you're supporting the local hillbilly economy, yes you are love. They're off to a gym, yes that's right. So they're going to Simville Court and to Beefy Boys Gym, that's right, which is a custom made gym. I think we might have been to Beefy's, Beefy Boys Gym once before with a different person, but oh look. It's, oh look, they've got a Starbucks outside, have they? We've got some baristas and they've got some outdoor dining wear. Yes, they've got some outdoor tables to sit and have your little Starbucks coffee, darling. Yes, so they're admiring the little outdoor furniture. Yes, they are. And look at the outside of it, dear. I don't know if we have seen this before, but this is for the gym. It's reasonably well equipped, I think, darling. Yes, it is. You see the top floor there, and then downstairs. We've even got a little bit of a um, kitchen area there, and you've got a bathroom. And oh my God, look, they've got the same tables from Kmart. Yes, they have, but well, not Kmart, Walmart, yes. We've got the Watson end tables from Walmart for only $129.99 up. That's right, but I'm not even being sponsored to say it, darling. So Ned has decided to change into his very sexy man panties, yes he has, and he's going to get into the jacuzzi and see if the warm water can cure his hemorrhoids, that's right, love. And now his son Gunther is going to get changed into his board shorts from Australia. Yes, and he's going to sit in the jacuzzi as well, and he's going to talk to his dad. He says, Dad, what's the ruling on Juno Birch? 
He said, well, it should be a crime to be that stunning when you're from Manchester. It should be a crime. Yeah, she should be arrested because it's not normal. And he says, I agree. She should be in a jail cell because it must be a crime to be that stunning. Because, yes, even her costumes, even her costumes are cuter than my emotional support puppy. Because, yes, my emotional support puppy isn't as cute as her costumes either. I almost have to wear a hard hat to resist her stunningness. Because, yes, my hard hat doesn't work. I've tried that. I've even tried. I've tried containing it, but I just can't. Her stunningness is infectious. It's amazing, yes. I almost tried to wear a balaclava and a blindfold. Even that didn't stop it from stunning me, yes. Her stunningness is too bright. And then he splashes him in the face with some water. Because he's a bit of a goofball. Yes, he is. Yes, he's a bit doolally. Now, he says, yes, it's cloudy in Manchester, isn't it? I think so. Yes, it is. Maybe we just can't see properly. Cause, or maybe it's because she wears Trixie Cosmetics. Yes, she wears a lipstick, a liquid lipstick, yes, from Trixie Cosmetics. She obviously puts it on the mirror because it looks amazing. Yes, she does. It looks amazing. Because she must read lots of books by Kevin Arquin, the makeup artist. By the late Kevin Arquin, who did Making Faces, yes. He looked in the mirror when he put lipstick on, too, I think. And this witch is going to return home because no one's come to see her. And she feels left out, yes. She feels very non-included. Yes, right, love. So she's gone home because no one seems to like her. Now, what are you doing, love? What are you doing, Gumpta? Where are you going? Are you going upstairs? Yes, he's going upstairs, aren't you, love? Oh, and look in his sexy mangrup that he's going to do some working out. He's always had a bit of a change. Yes, he has. Yes, and now his son's also come up and he's going to change and do his gym gear too. And look, he's got long hair all of a sudden. Isn't that amazing? You see, it's like magic. Are they going to work out on their gym machines? Their wider gym machines. He sits right by the Joe Wider range of gym equipment. Oh, he's, look, he's doing a bit of a leg press. He is, he's doing, not leg press, he's doing, what's he doing? He's doing quadricep extensions. Yes, love. This is the outside of the gym again. Oh, look, is that... Is that unsavory charlatan downstairs? Yes, it is. Look at him. Oh my God, love. He's arrived because it's the 24th birthday of the Sims. Yes, so we can't have a birthday without unsavory charlatan, can we? Look at the windows at the back, love. Oh my God. It's like, slow down, love. Calm yourself down. The person on the treadmill needs to calm themselves down, love. Yes, they're going to fall off. Oh, look, he's putting some effort in, isn't he? He does look a bit like Isaac Butterfield, doesn't he? Look at him. Yes, he's got an Isaac Butterfield beard. Yes, he does. Oh, look at it. Yes, look at it. Isn't it a nice looking gym? I think it is. It's quite nice. And the baristas downstairs aren't very busy, are they? Yes, I bet they wish they didn't give up their jobs at Starbucks. Oh, and look at him. Unsavory Charlton is being a bit of a malevolent nuisance, isn't he? So he's trying to chat up this woman which is naughty of him because he's already got a wife. Now, father and son have decided to go and have a sauna. Yes, that's right, love. So he's just changing into his very sexy man towel, yes, he is. So he's going to get his very sexy man towel on to show off his very sexy dad bod. That's right, love. And then he's also going to put a towel on as well. And the reason why they're in there is not just to cleanse their pores. No, it's also because the sulfur will hide the smell of their chronic wind breaking. Yes, that's right, love. Because they like to do lots of sneaky, silent farts. And at least they can't do it in the gym because everyone will complain. So they're doing it in the sauna room where the sulfur will drown out the smell, won't it, love? Yes, it will. So they'll be in there for a while because his, his wind breaking is chronic, especially his father's. Yes, that's right. Oh, we're beginning to sweat, love, yes. I think we'll put some Max Motives in the top there. So Control, Shift and C on your keyboard. And then put all one word in that you spell Max Motives. And then press Enter on your keyboard. And that puts all of their needs back up to normal. If they get worn out and you're at a community lot and you need them to have more energy, then you just put Max Motives in the dialog box that will appear at the top of your screen, yes. So Control, Shift and C and then put the word in Max Motives. Just put it all together in one with no spaces and then press Enter on your keyboard and watch their needs go back up to normal up. That's right. Now, if you do that on a community lot and it's a really bad environment they're in, the environment part under your needs will still be low, including at their own home. There's lots of rubbish lying around 
and you put Max Motors in, it will increase all their other needs back to normal, but the environment needs that's here will be low until you clean the house up. Yes, that's right, love. Now, they're exercising their inner child and having a swing. Yes, they are. Because they're very mature for their ages, that's right, love. Nothing like a bit of playground equipment to bring out their inner child as their love. No, that's right. I think they need some therapy. Now, what are you doing, love? What are you both doing? Now, Gumpy has decided to approach the White Witch and ask her to give him a PlayStation, an Xbox, and also a smartphone. And she says, well, you're not an entitled little zit at all, are you, love? No, that won't rattle my piggy bank whatsoever. And over here, he's talking to this woman of colour, who's very attractive, he quite likes her. But she doesn't like men who wear hard hats for a, for a job. She likes baristas. Oh, is that Dixie Cartel? I think it is. Dixie Cartel's come to the gym, the drag queen. She's in the background. You've gone a bit do belly love, haven't you? Stop trying to impress the ladies by being a barista, love. You need to order coffee, not make it, darling. That's right, change out of your little barista uniform. But there's no one here to serve you. Yes, that's really bad customer service. Yes, not like at Starbucks, love, at all, no. So what are you doing, love? Are you a hillbilly that collects butterflies? You're, oh, you're a bit special, aren't you, love? Yes, you are. I think you should go inside and follow Dixie Cartel. But he says, no, Nana Beryl, I want to talk about school with my dad and about my favourite movie, Aladdin. I really liked Aladdin, but not the later one. I liked the one with Robin Williams doing the voice of the genie, the cartoon one. And look, the White Witch has come back because she's been looking for her pussy. Yes, she's been looking for her malevolent glowing pussy, which is behind the counter. What are you doing, love? Are you going up to see Dixie or are you going back into the, to the jacuzzi? Oh, love, your, bus, your pussy is bouncing all over the place. It's erratic. Yes, she has an erratic pussy. Oh my god, love. Where is it? Where is it gone? Where is your pussy gone, love? It's all over the place. He's just standing around looking. Oh, she's flown away. Oh, yes, she's disappeared. She's gone. She's taken her pussy with her. Yes, she has. That was a very quick visit, wasn't it? She must have gone to go and get you your PlayStation, love, yes. So he's going to sit in this jacuzzi while Dad goes, where you love? Are you going upstairs? Yes, are you going to work out again, love? Yes, I think he is. He's going to work out. Oh, there we have a conversation. What are you doing on the treadmill in drag, Dixie? Oh, he quite likes her. He doesn't realise she's a drag queen. Yes, he has no idea. You might get a, a bit of a surprise, love. Yes, you might. And he's talking about the 10-foot tall aliens in Las Vegas. And she's going for it on the treadmill, aren't you, love? Yes, you are. Look at you go. Oh, my God, love. Thank God you're wearing your foam latex boobies to work as shock absorbers. That was a bit of a worry, wasn't it, love? You fell over. You're turning into Joe Biden. And he says hello to her. Now Dixie Cartel is a sexy 60s icon. Look at her love. Look at her stunning behaviour and her amazing costumes. Isn't she amazing? Yes, she's gorgeous, isn't she? She's very 60s. But she really is a bit of a is a bit of a tricksy Maytel wannabe, aren't you, love? Yes. And you're not going to ever be like her because you've worked too long at the Crayola Crayon Factory, haven't you, love? Yes. And you do realise you're not meant to put Crayola Crayon on your face, love. You need to buy some Trixie Cosmetics, yes, dear. It's not for, good for your skin to use Crayola Crayon, love. You're not meant to put that on your skin, darling. No, you're not. Now, he's going to sit down and have a conversation with someone who doesn't like him. So they're giving up and walking away. Sorry, dear, but not everyone's going to like you in the world, love. That's right. Now, he's going to call an Uber. Aren't you, love? Yes, you're going to call an Uber while your son here needs to get out of the jacuzzi. Yes, that's right, Gumpa. You need to prepare to get ready to take an Uber back home, love. What are you doing? He's just going to sit there because he likes the warm water. But you need to get out, love. Has your Uber arrived? I hear it too, too. He said, yes, love. Now, who's your Uber driver? Oh, her name is Simone, he said. And she's, yes, she's from France. Hello, Simone from France. How about you take them back? to not Simville Central this time, but Hickersville Court. That's right, Simone. Take them to Hickersville Court. Yes, because it's a new division, the deep south of Simville Central, up. Yes, it is. Very good. Thank you, Simone. 
So Simone is a very good Uber driver from France. Um, yes, Simone, yes you are. And she's taking them back, yes, the Hillbilly family, to Hickersville Court. Bra, you love. Oh my god, look at that, love. You're a very good driver. Yes, and mum's still in bed. She's asleep, is she? Yes, she's still asleep. She's having her beauty sleep because God knows she needs it, love. Oh, and I've just dropped, been dropped off by Simone. She's a very good driver. And I'm going to have a family kiss because I like to keep it in the family, don't you, love? Yes, you do. Because that's typical in the South, isn't it, darling? Yes, it is. Yes. Now they're going to play Paper Rock Cities. So I think we'll leave it there for now. Yes, that's right, love. And we'll see you again next time. So thank you so much for watching, lovelies. That's right, darling. See you later, sausage. Bye.